What is going on guys, Apple Fox here and there is a new update for the iOS 10. Well, it's the 10.2 developer beta 1 and in this video I'll be talking about the actual update with everything it brings and I gotta tell you there are lots of changes and new stuff. So it's a really interesting update for me but also for everyone who is gonna receive it once it gets published officially. There are new emojis as well and I'll be showing you a way to get them even if your device isn't running the latest beta. So just like always, let's take a look at the prompt to update. It's one of the bigger updates with almost 2GB, it might seem like it's too much but it brings lots of changes, so once you find out all of them and start to use it, you won't feel like the downloading of 2GB file is useless. It is again described as bug fixing and improving update, which is kind of annoying when there are lots of changes and all they say is bug fixes. As I already said, this update contains new emojis as well as the old ones that got redesigned and changed. By changed I mean like very significantly. It's something you are immediately able to see, so it isn't like they got a different shadow or something, it's really changed. Just take a look at this peg emoji and how it looks now on the right, and compare it to the new one in iOS 10.2 on the left. You may see that it just looks completely different, a lot more alive, and just better I think. This doesn't only apply on this one, but there is pretty much everything like the vehicles and people, all of that is now changed. There are also added lots of new ones. There is the new fox face, lying face, bacon and so much more. Well, it's going to take some time for the emojis to be available for the public. So if you want to get the new emojis right now, there is one thing you can do. You have to visit a page called Emojipedia. I will of course link you guys to this page. And here you can find all of the new emojis. Scroll down a little bit and click on the one you want to use. So for example, click on the rolling on the floor laughing emoji and hold on to the first emoji and click save image. Now you are able to paste it into a message and send it to someone, but of course this is not the real emoji, but just a picture of the actual emoji. But as you can see, it's just really huge. It's still better than nothing while waiting for the emojis to be official. And just like that, you can use any of the new emojis, which is really cool. On this website, you can also find these new emojis of female firefighter or female judge, for example. Now, another change present in iOS 10.2 beta 1 is that we got new wallpapers. Finally. Well, the wallpapers are not really new, they are the iPhone 7 colored bubble wallpapers. We already knew all of these, I made a video for you guys showing you how to get these. But now it's present in the settings on the wallpaper menu. It's only available for the iPhone 7 and 7 Plus, so don't worry if you are unable to find it. Another change can be found in the videos app, not completely in videos because the change is that there is a new widget available for the videos app. So if you go to the edit widgets panel, you may see the new widget for videos right there. If you open up camera, you choose the filter for the photo and also you can choose if you want to take a normal photo, square or something else. If you have an iPhone 6s or newer, you can also take a live photo. But if you exit out of the app and then come back, you can do all of that again because everything got reset it and you have to choose the filter and all of that again. But in iOS 10.2 you don't have to worry about something like this. In the settings, under photos and camera, there is a new menu called preserve settings. And there you are able to choose what you want to have preserved like the camera mode, photo filter or live photo. So by toggling this on, every time you open up camera you will have the same camera mode or photo filter depending on what you set up. And there you guys have it, the first beta of iOS 10.2. I really hope you liked this video, I would be really glad if you could press the like button to let me know you enjoyed it. Don't forget to share this video with your friends and also subscribe to my channel by clicking on my logo, it really helps the channel. Thank you for watching and see you next time.